Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we are going to implement a drawer navigation. It won't be a simple navigation. I'll show you how you can add a fully customizable drawer. We will add a dog theme, icons, nested navigations and so much more. So if you're new to the Expo router or you have any questions about drawer navigation, then this is the video for you. I'm not going to cover how the basic routing works in Expo router or how the file based routing works but i'll suggest to watch my other video on expo router i'll leave the link of that video in the description so with that said let me show you the navigation that we're going to build in this video the design is very simple because my main focus was the functionality so just ignore this simple design and uh, here is the drawer navigation if i click on this icon a drawer appears and here you can see a logo icons and this logout button all of this is customizable this is an about page which is very simple and if we go to home page we see another nested tab navigation and uh, here you can see the icons and the tabs and if i click on this button this opens a drawer navigation and if i click on the logout button this closes the drawer navigation I'll also show you how you can open and close the drawer navigation from basically any part of the app and we will make it dark as well so that if you have a dark theme in your application then this might be handy. Everything in this drawer is customizable so you can literally add any design you want in your drawer navigation. So this is the gist of what we are going to build in this video. And uh, if you find this video helpful do like the video and subscribe the channel this really helps the channel. So without further wasting any time, let's get started. First you need to install the Expo router and for that you need to go to expo.dev website. There you need to click on the installation menu in the sidebar, then this page will appear. So there are two ways to install the Expo router. One is the quickest way just using this command and other is the manual installation which is very lengthy. So let's stick with the quickest way. So let's copy this command and paste it into the terminal and hit enter now this is going to ask us about the application name so let's name it expo drawer and hit enter now this is going to install the template for expo router so let's wait a bit okay so this is finished now we can close the terminal and open the project in vs code i've already done that in my other screen so let me just drag that here Let's make it full screen. Let's also drag my iOS simulator here. I will be using iPhone 14 Pro. Let's adjust them in one window like this. So before we run this application, we need to install a bunch of packages for our drawer navigation. So let's go to Expo and in the sidebar under the advanced tab, you will see a drawer menu. Just click on this and we will need to install all of these libraries so let's just copy this command this also includes the gesture handler and reanimated library for the gestures of course so after this command you need to change the bevel configuration file and add this plugin for react native reanimated so let's just copy this and we need to go to our bevel configuration file and at the very last you need to paste this like this now the setup part is done and here is how we can use the drawer. Now we need to start the application and they suggest we use this command so that it also clears the expo cache. So let's just copy this command and paste it into the terminal. This is going to clear the cache and start our project. So let's wait. Okay, our project has started. So let's press I to start on iOS. And it's building okay so our application is running and we don't see any errors that's a very good sign so here we have this tab navigation and at the top we have this model button so this is what you get when you install a fresh application with expo router and if you see the code we have this bunch of files in assets components and constants we don't really need all of this so let's just remove all of this code and we will start from fresh let me just mark all of these files and delete them and uh, we also don't need the components so let's remove the components all of them and we also don't need the constant so let's just remove the whole folder okay so in the app folder 
we need to create the index file that will be the default route of the application so let's create a default index.tsx file and let's create a functional component and when I save this we will see an error and that's from our cache so let's just refresh and this will go away okay that's gone and we can see our index file this is the default component so expo works in file based routes so if you create an index file in any component that will be the default route so this is how we can add a simple draw navigation so let's just copy the import statement and uh, let's create a layout file in our app folder a layout file basically is a layout for that navigation here you can specify your draw navigation your stack navigation or your tab navigation but in our case we are using draw navigation so let's just add that if you want to learn more about expo router tab and stack navigation then i have another video on expo router which i will leave the link of in the video description so now if we save this file this is going to add a header to our application and on that header we see this icon and if we click on this this opens our drawer so we have a very basic drawer navigation and in there we have this index route which is the default component let's change this component to an about page and uh, let's change this text to this is an about page Let's save this and this changes immediately if you want to change this header title we can do that as well you just need to go to your layout file and we need to add the closing tag of this drawer and inside this we can add another tag drawer.screen and here we need to provide the name of the component that will be our index component and let's add some options first we're gonna add a drawer label that will be the label in the drawer menu so let's say about and then we're gonna change the title of the header that will be about as well and that is all for now so let's save it and when I save this you will see the title changes and if you open the drawer the label in the menu also changes to about so this is how we can change the title and the label now let's say i want to add another drawer menu so let's create a folder home and inside this let's create an index file and let's create a basic functional component and let's call it home and when i save this uh, you will see another menu will appear in our drawer navigation but the name is home slash index don't worry we will change this later but we see another menu so this is about page and then we can go to our home page now let's change this title in the header let's just copy this component and change the name to our component home slash index and let's change the label and title to home as well and let's save this now we can see the title has changed and if you open the drawer the label has changed as well so this is how we can add drawer menus but i want to make this home component a nested tab navigation so what we can do is we can create another layout file inside home folder and let's create a functional component inside this and here we need to return a tab navigation so let's remove all of this and we need to import the tabs from expo router so let's save this and we see a warning no route named home slash index exists and that's because now we have made the home component another navigation so it's not a single component so we need to change the name to home only and let's save this this will fix the warning now if we go to home navigation we will see another tab navigation as well and we see two headers one is coming from our drawer navigation and other is from tab navigation and we see one tab here that is our index file now i don't want to show the header from our tab navigation because we already see the tabs at the bottom so what we can do is add a screen options in tabs and we can add a property header shown to false this will hide the header from our tabs and now if i go to other pages we can see just one header on all the pages so now i want to change this index to settings page because i don't want to have an index page let's add settings and let's also change the component name to settings as well let's save this and let's refresh the app
so now if we go to home navigation we will see settings tab at the bottom so similarly you can add other tabs at the bottom just add the file let's add notifications.tsx and let's create a functional component let's rename and when i save this you will see another tab that will appear at the bottom but the file structure is very important if you want to add another tab you will need to add the file inside home folder that will make it a tab so about page is working but i don't like the order of this menu i want to show the home first so for that we need to go to our root layout and we can just change the order in here and that will show the home screen first so let's save this now we see the home screen first and about at the last so this is how you can change the order if you go to home screen we can see the tabs okay so our draw navigation looks very simple so next thing we're gonna do is add icons for all the menu items and for that we're going to use a library expo vector icons so this is a very simple library just copy this command and paste it into the terminal to install this into our project and while this installing let's check out the documentation so this is the basic usage you just import the icon you just name it size and color and here are the resources here i think i'll find all the icons so these are a bunch of icons that we can use so let's just copy the import statement into our project this is the import statement for icons from ionicons similarly you can import the other libraries and use their icons now we need an about icon so let's type info and we are going to use um, let's use this one ios information circle so let's copy the basic syntax for our icon let's copy this code now to add the icon we need to add a property draw icon in the options and this will be a callback function this will give us the size and the color of the icon and we're going to return this icon that we just copied and let's change the name to ios information circle and for the size and the color you can use your own size and colors but i'm going to use the one which are the defaults from expo router so let's use them which we received in this function so now when i save this we will see an icon appeared on about menu and this also changes when we click on it this matches the menu color so let's just copy this for our home menu as well and uh, let's search for our home icon let's go to expo vector icons and search for home um, it's so hard to choose when you have so many choices but uh, let's use this one md home from ionicons so let's change the name to md home now let's save this and now we have a home icon for our home menu but we see a distance between the label and the icon and i want to decrease it so what we can do is go to drawer and add some screen options and here we need to add a property draw label style and here i want to add negative margin left that will move the label a bit left like this now it's good so we have added the icons now we need to add the icons for our tab navigation as well so let's go to the layout file in home and here we need to add the screens first let's add tabs.screen and name will be the settings because we have a settings tabs and let's add options now to add the icon we have this property tab bar icon and this will return us a callback function as well similarly we will receive a size and color and now here we need to provide the icon so let's go to our root layout file and let's just copy the icon syntax from here and paste it here let's import the ionicons library and for the icon name let's just search for our settings icon uh, let's see if we have a settings icon in ionicons mm, yeah we have settings so the name is settings let's change this to settings and let's close it and save it 
okay so now we have an icon for our settings tab now let's do the same for notification tab let's just copy this tab and let's change the name to notifications and here we need to add icon for notification and the name for that is notifications in ionicons so let's just add notifications and let's save this now we have the icons for our tab navigation as well and tab navigation is working great okay so so far we have learned about the draw navigation the nested tab navigation and how to add icons but uh, now we're gonna learn how we can open the draw navigation from any part of the application currently we are using this icon to open the navigation so let's say i want to have a button inside notification that will open the draw navigation so let's create this button and give this a title of open drawer and let's save this and let's see if we have this uh, button in notifications so we have this button that does not do anything so to open the drawer we'll need to use a hook use navigation from expo router you need to make sure you import this from expo router now let's add an on press method on this button and this will open the drawer so let's create a function and use the navigation and we need to dispatch an action and for the actions we need to import the drawer actions from react navigation because we know under the hood expo router uses react navigation so using these actions we can close and open the drawer so let's use open drawer function and let's save this now if i click on this button this opens our drawer and it's working perfectly now let's create a function and move all of this functionality inside this open drawer and let's copy this code and move it inside our open drawer function and we need to call that on on press so let's save this and test it now it works great so we can use this code to open the drawer from any part of the application so now the next thing we're going to learn is how to add custom buttons to our drawer navigation basically add anything in our drawer navigation so for that what we need to do is go to our root layout file and here in the drawer we need to specify a property drawer content and this will be a custom component that will basically replace all the content in our drawer navigation so let's create a component inside this custom drawer content and let's create a functional component inside this and let's change the name to custom drawer content and let's save this now we're gonna use that in the drawer content property so let's use that component and when i save this you will see our drawer navigation changes and now we see the custom drawer content that is coming from this component now let's add a style of flex one to the wrapper now I want to add the custom content to this drawer but I also want to keep all the menu items that were already there so for that what we can do is use a component drawer content scroll view from react navigation and we need to pass all the props to this component that will be passed to this custom component basically this component is a wrapper for all the list items in the drawer menu so let's close it and inside this we're gonna use another component that's called drawer item list and that will basically render all the items in the drawer menu and this is a component and we need to pass the props to this as well so let's spread all the props and close this and save this and this will show all the menu items that we have but it's not showing so this is a problem with the custom drawer content when we're using the custom content we have to refresh the app to see the change so this is the issue i have faced before so you might see this again and again so let's refresh the app and if you open the drawer we will see all the items in there and these are coming from the drawer items list and we have a scroll view around this that's the wrapper for all the items but now we have the ability to add anything into our drawer so let's add a pressable and let's add a text inside this let's will say logout so let's say you have a logout button at the bottom and uh, let's give it a padding this will show at the bottom let's give it a style 
and give this a padding of 20 and let's save this uh, we need to refresh the app to see the change so now we see the logout button at the bottom so we need to have a little more padding at the bottom of this button and for that we're going to use the safe area insets so let's use that hook and use the bottom property from use safe area insets and let's use that bottom property as a padding bottom like this and let's save this let's see the change need to refresh and it looks good but let's add a little more padding uh, let's bottom plus 10 let's see again okay it looks good you can work on the design and add like an icon or the color for this logout button but i'll just leave it as it is so now we're gonna add a function on this button so that we can close the drawer when user presses on this button so let's add a function close drawer and let's create this function and to close the drawer we will need to use the navigation hook from expo router so let's declare the navigation use navigation uh, make sure you import this from expo router not from react navigation so using this navigation we need to dispatch an action and for the actions we need to import the drawer actions and we need to call the function close drawer and let's save this and test this if it works so if i click on this uh, it doesn't work we need to refresh the app and let's click on this again and it closes the drawer so now we have seen how we can add custom content to the drawer and how we can close the drawer so now let's say i want to add a logo of my application at the top here so what i will do is add a view uh, let's add this inside this scroll view so let's create a view and give this a style of padding 20 and let's close this and inside this we're going to add the logo of our application so now we need to find the logo so let's go to browser and here let me show you a website logoipsum.com i usually use this website for logos for my test projects so let's use this logo if you download it this will be downloaded as as, as an svg but i just want to use the simple image logo so what you can do is go to svg to png you will find a bunch of websites to convert svg to png i've already done that so what i will do is just go to assets and paste my logo in the images so this will be our logo and this is an image file so let's use the image component inside this view let's add a source and i've already pasted the image into our assets and the image name is called logo.png so let's add that and let's save this to see our logo and we need to refresh the app to see the change so let's refresh and now we can see our logo logo ipsum uh, let's make it a little small let's add a style and give this a height of 30 and let's add another property resize mode to contain now let's save this and check again uh, maybe not that small so let's change this to 35 and let's save again okay it looks good now we have added the logo and the logout button so our tab navigation is working and we can open the drawer from here and close the drawer from the logout button okay so next we're gonna learn how we can make our drawer navigation dark so that if you have a dark theme then this might be handy so the first thing we're gonna do is go to our root layout and inside the screen options of our drawer we need to add the property drawer active background color and we need to set it to gray and that will change the active menu background color so the active menu is home and we see the gray background so next we're gonna add another property drawer active tint color that will change the font and the icon color to white 
okay it looks good now to change the background color to black we need to go to our custom drawer content component and here we need to add a style let's add a background color and add the color of black let's save this and we need to refresh the app to see the change so now we have a black background into our drawer navigation but we don't see the inactive menu so let's go to our root layout and inside drawer we need to add another property drawer inactive tint color and let's make it white and save this now we have a white color for all the inactive menu items we also have a logout button at the bottom we can also change it to white and this will show as well but the main thing is now you know how you can make the dog theme in your draw navigation so let's just comment all of this because this was just to show you how you can change the style in draw navigation let's change the things back to normal we need to refresh the app okay so we have the white theme again now let's review all of the things we have implemented into our project so on the home screen we see our tab navigation and if we go to notification tab we will see a button which opens our drawer then we have this about page which is just a simple page and this logout button will close the drawer we also have added this logo from logo ipsum and we have also seen how we can add dog theme to our drawer navigation so with this our application is complete if you find this video helpful do like the video and subscribe the channel i'll leave the link of the github repo for this project into the video description so you can check out the code and maybe give it a star if you still have any questions about anything you can ask them into the comment section and i'll try to answer them as soon as possible so this is it for this video see you in the next one